I've always had a lot to say. <laughs> Sometimes way too much to say. But it's always worked best when I say it with music. So, so when I thought about where I was at at this point in my life, um, all I kept thinking about was time, time, time. I wasn't considering making a chic album ever again. There was no reason spiritually or artistically to do so. What happened was one day, and I remember it well, it was June 20th, 2010, a huge box of tapes show up at my house. There were cassettes, there were sessions of music, but either the songs weren't good enough or it was just one too many song for that particular Chic album at that point in time. When I played the tapes and I could hear us talking between the songs, it was like I had gone back in time and I realized that everybody on those tapes had passed away. It wasn't like I could call them up and say, well, listen to this, check this out. So now I have a box of tapes, analog tapes, which sound fabulous, that are unfinished. And I now have a chance to be with my buddies and finish this stuff. And then I, uh, the, my doctor tells me that I have extremely aggressive cancer. And this is just a few months later. I went from being the happiest guy in the world to a guy thinking about making a life or death decision. Like, where's that coming from? And at that point, I decided I was gonna do more music than I've ever done in my life and play more concerts than I've ever done in my life. It was clear to me that I only had so much time on this earth. And I wanted time to be represented in an artistic, conceptual way. Every single Chic album has always been a concept album. That's a Chic record to me. It's a real concept. It's about something. And this record is about time. I knew that in the year 2015, on the vernal equinox, there was gonna be a total solar eclipse. And that's a very rare celestial event indeed. I said to myself, that's the day I want my record to come out. It's just this great double entendre to put out a record on the day where day and night are of equal length, but because of a total solar eclipse, it changes day into night for a bit. It's just so crazy to me. Our first single, there's a lyric that says, I don't want to live in the past, but it's a nice place to visit. And if you come along, I'll be there. When that lyric comes up in the song, it means so much to me. Everybody who's on our very first record is on this record. Everybody from Luther Vandross to Robin Clark, Bernard Edwards, Tony Thompson. I mean, they're all there. They're all on this record. And this was so important to me that the whole Chic organization came together. Now it felt like I had a chance for my band to be reborn and to just live one more time. That first single, when you see it, it says, written and produced by Bernard Edwards and Nile Rogers for the Chic organization. Cause it is, there's no one else playing on it. That's us, it's us playing, that's it. It's almost like a time capsule. It's like you broke open a time capsule and you got a record that never came out. It's, it's, it's exciting for me. I mean, it's, it's, it's all about time. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. <laughs>
Let's get through it. We almost did it. <laughs> 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 but it sounds great, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>